Katie and I'm here with Amanda Jenner who's Channel Mums potty training expert and this is episode four of our potty training course. Now we've already covered the signs of when your child is ready and also the equipment that you're going to need. So what exactly are we going to talk about today Amanda? How to get started and how to get on the toilet training journey so I'm going to give you lots of tips and hints and do's and don'ts. Well let's have a little look at how these mums got on with their potty training journey. We pretty much stayed at home as much as we could. It was loads of accidents. I was like, let's try the big toilet. And he sat on the big toilet and he had a wee. So I've actually got him the most ridiculous product that I thought I would never buy, but it's this little tiny urinal. <laughs> so yeah, that's great what Emily said there, that she, she stayed at home for a few days. If that suits you, that's great. But after a few days, I definitely encourage you to get out because it's got to be real life scenarios. Well, your kids might get frustrated as well, and exactly. then you've added an extra problem to the equation. And there are lots of fun little things like that that stick on urinal. They will tell you whether they want to go on the big toilet or they want to use the potty or yeah. urine or stand or sit or whatever go with it they're learning and you're learning too on the first couple of days of potty training we just let aria run around with her t-shirt on you know no nappy no knickers or anything and just try to catch <laughs> her doing her business and then bring the potty over so that she could finish on there you know there's going to be lots of slip list slip ups and lots of messes and you know, it is quite frustrating, um, yeah. but really important to keep asking them every 20 minutes, especially when you've just started toilet training. They've been in a nappy since they were born, mm. so you have to now remind them, do you need a wee, do you need a poo? It will drive you absolutely nuts, so you keep saying it, and they can sometimes get a bit cross with you as well. Yeah. No, I don't need to go. And as, as the week goes by, you can leave it a little bit longer. And so if they drink lots every 20 minutes, if they're not drinking as much, you can leave it sort of 30 to 45 mm. minutes. And they don't want to leave what they're doing to go to the toilet. So it's up to mummy and daddy to be on it as well. And be prepared that you are going to have to clean up some you mess. You are. A mop yeah. in a bucket is definitely going to be to hand. <laughs> there have been times where I've been really frustrated about it. I've been tired and I'm like, oh my God, Harrison, you've done it again. Like, you know how to do it. Please don't be lazy. I've got cross at him and instantly I'm like, that's the wrong way to go about it. And be calm and just say, it doesn't go there. It goes in here. Yeah. So that's really important. Just keep patient and persistent and consistent. When, when we first start potty training, you know, is, is there a, a typical first day? So we get the big girl pants, big boy pants on, you know, we make a big thing of it. So today you're a big boy or a big girl and we put the potty in the room where they're playing or if you're using a toilet trainer seat, let them know where it is, leave the door open and keep reminding them where the potty or the trainer mm. seat is. And we need to educate them to remember to go. If your child is showing signs of readiness, are there any times when you shouldn't actually go with it? Do not start toilet training when you've just had a newborn baby brought into the house because the children get really jealous and they want to be baby again, really key. Also, if they're just about to start nursery school, it's a new surroundings for them, so let them settle in. If you've just moved home, do not start toilet training. Let them settle in, let them get used to their surroundings before you start. And also, if they've been poorly um, and they've not been very well, so just leave it a couple of weeks. If you've started your journey um, and they regress because they've been poorly, just, just have a little break and start again. Another big tip of mine is that if you're going out and about, don't resort back to nappies, don't confuse them, it's mixed messaging, and take the potty with you. Let them know you've got the potty or the toilet trainer seat because they love their familiar products that they've been using, so that's really important. With your experience, do you find there is a difference between potty training boys and girls? No, not at all. Everybody says this, so it's 50-50. Boys and girls, exactly the same. It just depends on the individual. But surely one difference is that boys are going to end up standing to pee, and I have heard heard about mums putting things in the loo for, for boys to aim at. Would you encourage that? Not at all, no. <laughs> I mean, I've had stories where mums have emailed me and said, we started putting different objects down the toilet and then five minutes later the child was in the toilet getting the objects out. So <laughs> obviously that's not very hygienic yeah. so I definitely don't recommend to do that. Well thank you for joining Channel Mum again Amanda for your brilliant tips on potty training. Obviously we still have three more videos to come. We're going to be covering pooing, we're going to be covering getting ready for school and of course nighttime potty training as well. But if you want a bit more support please do go to the Channel Mum support group, we'll put the link below, where you can ask Amanda questions and you can also chat with the other mums too remember you're not alone thank you so much for watching and don't forget to leave us a comment below and let us know how you're getting on